many scientific fields such as bioinformatics, medical imaging, and astronomy, large quantities of data need to be analyzed. This can involve large-scale and repetitive processes in long pipelines of different tools referred to as workflows. It can be very time-consuming to run data for all these different tools by hand and convert outputs to various formats to make them compatible with the next step. Workflow management systems are designed to alleviate this problem by allowing these workflows to be expressed formally and providing the infrastructure to set up, execute, and monitor them. This formal expression of workflows allows for scientists to easily share and reuse them. Crucially, they can also be used to verify results of computation for published work. However, there are many competing standards for describing workflows, which is a barrier to this. Currently, there are over 100 different data analysis workflow systems with no interoperability between them. The need has arisen to have a single common standard, and so the Common Workflow Language Project was created, an open standard designed to express workflows in their tooling in groups of YAML scripted text files. So that was the 60 second introduction to the Common Workflow Language Project. I'm Michael Crusoe. I'm the, one of the co founders and the project lead, uh, and talking to you today from Vilnius, Lithuania. Uh, we uh, work on standards for this other sort of workflow, not a publishing workflow, the batch data analysis workflow, but there's also a publishing story there. We're really excited to, uh, and we were hoping to have been there in person, but to make connections across the uh, scholarly creation and dissemination publishing workflows um, using standards. Another project I collaborate with is the researchobject.org standards, um, which is a data manifest or a data container that brings these things together. And uh, I think in the next breakout session, uh, there'll be a group talking about this. So I hope to talk to you all remotely and see uh, many of you around the world in the future too. Thanks.